Hi, my name is Suresh Krishnan. I'm one of the technical marketing engineers for Juniper's switching products. In this video, we'll see a short demo of guest access workflow for wired guests connected to Juniper switches. Juniper EX switches work with Aruba ClearPass Policy Manager to provide guest access for wired guests. Contractors or long-term guests might use wired connections to connect to the enterprise network. Enabling similar guest access workflow for wired and wireless users using Aruba ClearPass Policy Manager and Juniper EX series switches provides seamless guest user experience across wired and wireless networks. This enables stronger security on wired ports. For example, a malicious user trying to connect to wired ports in a conference room will be forced to authenticate as a guest user if the user is not an employee and will be allowed limited access to corporate resources based on guest authentication. This is the topology used in this demo. This is a simple topology with the Juniper EX4300 switch as an access switch and Aruba CPPM providing the NAC server functionality. In this demo, the guest user is connected to port 24 on the switch. An employee is connected to port 10 on the same switch. The employee's desktop is configured for 802.1x. The switch and CPPM authenticate the employee endpoint using 802.1x. The guest's endpoint that is connected on port 24 is not configured for 802.1x. So the endpoint goes through guest access workflow. All access ports on the switch are configured to authenticate endpoints using MacAuth if there are no EAP OL packets from the endpoint. Since the guest user laptop is not configured for 802.1x, MAC authentication is initiated by the switch for this endpoint. CPPM notices that this is an unknown endpoint and sends an access accept with the web redirect information to the switch to redirect the endpoint to ClearPass guest authentication page. As part of the radius response packet, the CPPM server also sends an ACL which allows access to some resources. For example, DHCP and DNS access. When the guest user opens a browser to access any web resources, the switch redirects the web browser to the guest user authentication page on ClearPass server. Here, the guest user can log in with the guest user credentials. At this point, if the guest user provided correct guest credentials, CPPM will send a COA telling the switch to place the endpoint in a different VLAN for guests or apply a firewall filter on the port to allow limited access for the guest user. As you can see, this workflow is based on radius attributes and does not use any proprietary messages between Juniper EX switches and Aruba CPPM. Now, let us look at the demo. This is the CLI on the EX4300 switch. We have disabled the interface connected to the guest endpoint. We simulate the endpoint connecting to the port event by enabling the port. Now, let us look at the authentication details for the guest access port. We see that the endpoint is authenticated using MAC authentication. The authentication method used is EAPMD5. The port is in CWA authentication mode and is in VLAN 100. The filter name sent by CPPM defines what is permitted or blocked until the guest user authenticates. This shows the redirect URL sent by CPPM server. In this case, 
the CPPM guest authentication portal. Now, let us look at the live authentication tracker on CPPM. Here, you can see that this was the MAC authentication for the endpoint. We can look at the output tab to see what was sent in MAC authentication radius response to the switch. CPPM sent the name of the redirect ACR and the redirect URL. At this point, the endpoint has limited access to the network. When the guest user tries to access any web resources, the guest user will get redirected to CPPM guest authentication portal. The guest user provides the guest username password credentials. These credentials were probably provided by the lobby administrator or the person sponsoring the guest user. After successful guest user authentication, the guest user has access to other web resources. Let's check the CPPM live authentication monitor to look at the guest authentication details. We see that the guest1 user successfully logged in. On the switch, we can see the authentication details for the guest access port. After successful authentication, the user port is now in authenticated state. That brings us to the end of this demo. Thank you for watching.